Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is Mars Day. Um, and yes, we have the energies of Mars supporting us today, um, getting things done in regards to our own inspirations, uh, what it is that is going to take that we need in order to step up and lead in our world, in our life you know, and really putting the action into it, being very passionate, connecting with our passions, you know, and, and taking that excitable energy and utilizing it for something to help us bring to life what it is that we are cultivating, whether that is just simply a new sense of mind or a new sense of feeling, okay? The moon today is in Virgo. So with the moon being in Virgo, uh, we may find ourselves being on a more critical side or dealing with more critical people. Um, we may be finding ourselves being very focused on getting things done because Virgo is all about self-mastery and getting things aligned um, in a way that allows us to be able to help others and serve others, but also be able to do the work in a very efficient way. Um, things uh, surrounding animals and our pets may be coming up as well. Um, with Jupiter, with it being in opposition to Jupiter, um, this can be any type of ideals that we have, any type of imaginative uh, constructs that we have conjured up and want to bring to life, bringing that to balance and putting in the efforts it's going to take in order to manifest it, make it real, bring it from the intangible to the tangible, you know, so um, we may also be integrating um, the healing it is that has taken place up until this point um, within ourselves, behind any trauma, any wounds it is that we have come to and heal through or through this lifetime, you know, and um, we have a benevolent energy with mercury that has just entered cancer as of like, what, two days ago, you know, so this is the moon rules cancer, mercury rules Virgo, so these two energies are playing on one another, basically allowing us to evolve and elevate how it is that we communicate from a heart-based space, right, in being very fluid, very grounded in that, being very loving as well, but also having boundaries. That's one thing Virgo is really good for boundaries. So you guys, I had, um, it, this is also a good time to share any heart-based uh, words in regards to healing as well that may be coming up. Um, which is something that I plan on doing today, sharing a little bit about the depth of, from that story time of how it is that I even got there, right? And because I think sometimes we focus on the surface of things, of how it, a thing was experienced and what we experienced and not how it is the, the catalyst of what actually brought us there. So I had already pulled cards, but <laughs> my son had came out the room, he had no clothes on, he's on video, I had to record y'all, all right? So gotta keep my baby uh out the video with his stuff all shown all right so we have a star seed and star mother so this is about what is lighting you up and how can you mother yourself so how is it that you are nurturing and nourishing your your gifts what it is that brings you joy what it is that brings you happiness okay how have you are you uplifting yourself? Are you encouraging yourself? Are you speaking good thoughts to yourself in regards to what it is that you love and want to do and want to carry out, right? Or even if, are you wanting to take naps and you don't, and you just need to let yourself that it's okay, let yourself know that it's okay for you to be able to take a nap, right? So even something as simple as that, that's just that kind of example. And the other card that came out with this was the letter and so this is a sign of good tidings. Some, some good news is coming to us and it's going to support us in making a decision. It's also going to support us in being able to move through any of those subconscious patterns that um, kind of create um, blockages, stagnation, um, tension as well, you know, and this may be something in regards to uh, providing us a sense of good fortune, but it's also supporting us in um, the work it is that we're putting in 
that will be paying off as long as we choose to put it in, you know? So be sure that you are encouraging yourself. Be sure that you're around people who are encouraging yourself, who are nurturing you, who are leading you true to your soul, right? Supporting you there, not necessarily leading you because we're the only ones who can truly lead ourselves there, right? But definitely open this window a little bit. Okay, but definitely um, connecting with those that we can relate to, right? That that hold a, a special place in our heart, right? So at the bottom here, we have the tree. That's a three of wands. So our ships may be coming in, especially surrounding home matters. Um, what what it is that our life has become, how we have kind of constructed that, right? And at the bottom here, we have unbound. So we are releasing soul patterns, soul contracts, okay? And past lives, no longer holding on to things that perpetuate cycles that do not serve us, right? That whole devil energy that keep us pulled down into our shadows and um, really seeing the light, seeing the force for the for the trees, okay? It's very fitting for those two cars to come together, you know, in, in fulfillment of our hopes and dreams and feeling a very strong sense of comfort, cancer, cancer season within ourselves and um, really making way to what it is that we truly, where we truly want to be, what it is that we truly want to do, how it is that we truly want to live and feel, and even perceive life, you know, and connect with others. Okay, you guys, so um, recognize where you need to be a little bit more lenient on yourself, more lenient with others, right? Give yourself grace, get, offer other people grace, right? And, and, and show some real love, okay? So I hope y'all have a wonderful Tuesday. Um, yeah, and I'm sending y'all so much love. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>